Gerard, as Julie just told us, the bank's getting a bid here. In fact, it is their best day since March 9th. Give us the big picture here for the banks. Is this simply a rotation? Is this simply a, a continuation of, of going into risky assets, or is there something more here? What I would suggest is that you know the bank sector, as we all know, has been one of the biggest beneficiaries of the Trump election. These stocks have outperformed the general market since that time. More recently, in the last uh, week or so, they have underperformed because of the concerns about this trading problem, especially with China. Should that be resolved and we get back to a stronger economy with the expectation of continued rate increases, as you heard last week, uh, Governor Powell, or federal, I should say, uh, Chair Chairman Governor um, um, now Powell, Chairman. Yeah. yeah, there you go, is is certainly going to uh, indicate that they're going to raise rates again this year. So the banks have benefited from a stronger economy, higher interest rates, and less regulation. That all remains in place. And assuming these trade issues do not derail the economy, the banks are a place to be, and I think the market's waking up to that today. When you talk about the trade issues, though, is there a direct cause and effect, or is it more just they get caught up in the sentiment? I think it's if if the cause and effect is that the U.S. economy will slow down, and then you take out two of the pillars of why people want to own bank gotcha. stocks today, which is the strength in the economy and rising rates. All right. I want to bring in a comment here from Sergio Amati, the U.S. Uh, UBS CEO, who talked to us earlier today. Take a listen. I think a mix of consolidation and refocusing uh, will take out capacity. Still too many banks are not able to pay for their cost of capital, and this is not really sustainable for, for the system. A mix of consolidation and refocusing will take out capacity. Certainly, Sergio Amati is talking about the global landscape. Talk about the prospect for that here in the U.S., especially among the mid-sized and smaller banks. I am totally in the camp that we still have too many banks. When you think about it, Though we're down from over 14,000 banks in the 1980s to about 5,700 banks today, we still have 5,700 banks chasing 2,000 banks worth of business. So there is going to be consolidation due to the uh, cost of capital, as just described, but also the increased use of digitalization of delivering bank products is expensive. The m big universal banks are, are ahead of the smaller banks, and for the smaller banks, we believe to remain competitive, they're going to need to join forces. And then second, the deposit side of the balance sheet, which has not been a focus, nor has it had to have been a focus because rates were so low, that is changing and deposit gathering is going to become more difficult. And one way to solve that is to acquire a competitor for the deposit franchise. So yes, M&A is coming and it should be pretty big Well, as we get into late 18 into 2019.